In this country, we are used to high-profile murders taking place and then our investigative bodies fail to bring anyone to book. That is what a majority of the nation expected in the case of Meru blogger Sniper. But CS Kithure Kindiki has gone against the grain and actually kept his word. We now know who exactly killed or at the very least aided and abetted the death of Meru blogger Sniper. And their names, according to CS Kindiki, are Vincent Muredi Karimi, Kenneth Murangiri Guantai, Christos Magara Kiambi, Brian Mwenda and Boniface Kithinji Njuya. These fellows lured Sniper to a high-profile meeting where he was supposed to reach a truce with Governor Kawira Mwangaza allegedly because he was always trolling her online and when he arrived, they killed him and dumped his body in a river. Just listening to CS Kithure Kindiki give the exact account of events and who was communicating to who and how it totally went down. Roll the tip. On 2nd December 2023, the deceased was at his home when he received a call from one Vincent Moredi Alaya Supu, who requested to meet with him at Meru Town to attend an alleged meeting with the governor of Meru County to discuss their differences so that the deceased could stop attacking her on social media. Upon arrival at Meru Town, he was abducted and driven to Mutonga River in an area called Tiakariga in Taraka Nithi County. He was killed and his body thrown into River Mutonga at a place called Mutonga Bridge where that body remained for several days undiscovered. Honorable Speaker, sir, his disappearance was reported at Maoa Police Station by the family members and investigations com commenced immediately. The police file number CR 434 2023 was opened. The deceased body was discovered on 6th of December 2023 by a resident of Karikivi area at a place they normally fetch water. That place is called Majarani and she reported the same to the police station. Police officers from Chakariga police station and DCI from Taraka South visited the scene and the unknown deceased body, which had some visible injuries, was retrieved from the river Mutonga on 7th December 2023. The body was taken to Marimanti Level 4 Hospital Mochere, which is in Taraka Nithi County, where the crime happened, for preservation, awaiting identification and postmortem. Right Honorable Speaker, the relatives to the deceased managed to positively identify the said body as that of their kin, Daniel Muthiani Bernard, alias Sniper, on 18th December 2023. And the same day, detectives from the Homicide Investigations a Unit in Nairobi took over the investigations um, from the area police. And this was because of the highly politicized and sectional um, uh, emotional sentiments that are coming from were coming at that time and still are coming until now about the commission of that grievous crime against the deceased. And therefore, we sent a team of detectives from the homicide unit in Nairobi to take it over from the local police authorities in Meru. Mr. So Speaker, sir, a post mortem was conducted by the chief government pathologist, Dr. Johansen Nodur, on 22nd December 2023. And in his opinion, the cause of death was asphyxia due to ligature strangulation. So, Speaker, sir, investigations have placed five accused persons at the scene of the abduction Vincent Moredi Kiremi, Kenneth Murangiri Guantai. Christus Manyara Kiambi, Brian Mwenda, and Boniface Kidenji Njuya. These five were together with the deceased from Meru Town all the way to Mutonga River where the body, uh, where the body was dumped. Further, samples collected during the post-mortem examination and submitted to the government chemist for analysis indicated that it contained acetamifrit and cyhalothrin, which are systemic insecticides. Kenneth Murangiri Wantai was particularly in constant communication with 
Vincent Moravi Alaya Supu during the time of luring the deceased, the time of abduction, and the time of the disposal of the body. He thereafter met Vincent and the other accused persons at Makutano uh, suburb of Meru County after the execution of the crime. In my opinion, this is very good work by C.S. Kindiki. As we speak, he has sorted the passport issue and he has also helped solve this case. If Kindiki keeps this up, he could very easily be the best performing CS this first half of the year. But what say you? Do you feel that uh, this investigation was done to satisfactory levels? And should these same efforts be brought to people like Sharon O'Koth and so on and so forth? Just let me know in the comment section below which murders that hit the headlines that you feel has been neglected ever since. I'll do my best to read your comments and to give you a response. In the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to all right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.